Oh, hey friends. I just finished up a surgery with one of our doctors. Now, do you know what a surgery is? So surgery is when doctors take special tools and fix something inside of our body. So our patient found something they weren't supposed to eat. And the only way to get it out was to do surgery. Now, some things look like you can eat them, but you can't. Some things may look like candy, but they could be really bad for us. So always make sure you ask an adult before you eat something that you find. Our patient could have gotten really hurt, but luckily the doctor was able to get it out safely and the patient's gonna be okay. Well, it's my lunchtime, hey, so Jane, I'm gonna- Hey, on. You are needed in room three. <sighs> All right, well, lunchtime can wait, but my patients cannot. Do you wanna come with me? All right, follow me. Uh, um... Oh. Hey, Joey. Hi. How are you feeling? I don't feel so great. Oh, what's going on? Uh, I found some candy on the counter, and I ate it. A lot of it. Let me guess. You have a bellyache. Yeah, a lot more than when I first came in. Can I have something to make my tummy feel better? Thanks for letting me know how you're feeling. I can't get you anything at the moment because the doctor hasn't looked over your results yet. But I did find a warm pack for you. A warm pack? A warm pack. It'll help with the discomfort, okay? Okay. All right. Is it okay if I place it on your belly? Uh, yeah, sure. All right. Uh, Ready? Uh, How's that feel? Oh, uh, it feels good. All right. Well, hold tight. I'm going to go talk to the doctor, see if he can come in and talk to you about the results. Is it okay if I maybe turn on your TV? Oh, yeah, please. All right. Oh, hello friends. I just heard from Joey's doctor that he will not need to have surgery and that the vitamins are gonna pass through his body and everything's gonna be okay. So Joey will just wait in the hospital until the vitamins pass and then it's safe for him to go home. But there's a very important lesson that I wanna teach you today. If you ever find food, vitamins, or things that look like vitamins, always check with an adult before eating them just in case it's not safe. That's why grown-ups are in charge of the kitchen and the medicine cabinet, so they can let us know if things are safe or not safe to eat. You know, I think that the warm pack might have worked on Joey. So let's go check in on him and see how he's feeling. All right. Hey, Joey. Hi, Nurse Dion. Is that heat pad working okay for you? Yeah, I'm feeling better. And did the doctor come in and talk to you? Yeah, he did. And what did they say? They said I ate too many vitamins? I thought vitamins were good for you. It tasted like candy. My mom would give me one every day. Well, you're not wrong. Vitamins are good for you. But the problem was you ate more than you were supposed to. And now your belly hurts, right? It's all right. We're here in the hospital and we're going to make you feel better. Okay? Nurse Dion? Yeah, Joey? What are vitamins? Well, vitamins are things that your body needs but can't make. Now, there are different kinds of vitamins and they do different things. We get a lot of our vitamins from the fruits and vegetables that we eat. Sometimes we need a little extra help, so we take vitamins. I have an idea. You wanna learn more about vitamins? Yeah, I would. Great. Now, do you know the first five letters of the alphabet? Oh, I do, I do. Great, because we use some of the letters of the alphabet for our vitamins. Now, can you name the first five letters of the alphabet? I'll give it a shot. Okay. There's A, B, C, D, and E. Excellent. The first five letters of the alphabet are A, B, C, D, and E. Now let's talk about the first vitamin, vitamin A. Vitamin A! Woo! So vitamin A is very important for our eyesight. It can help us with our vision when we're outside at night playing hide and seek or going trick or treating for Halloween. Do you know where we can find vitamin A? Um, gummies? Well, you're not wrong, but we can find vitamin A in vegetables that are red, yellow, and orange. Now, can you name an orange vegetable? Carrots are orange. Carrots are orange, and they have vitamin A. All right, so what's the next letter of the alphabet? Hmm, B. That's right. Vitamin B. We think of brain health. So vitamin B is very healthy for our brains and also gives us 
lots of energy. <laughs> now, we can find vitamin B in things like leafy greens, beans, even meats. Now, can you name the next letter of the alphabet? It's C, isn't it? That's correct, vitamin C. Now, vitamin C is very good for our immune system. So it helps keep us from getting sick, fights colds, and fights off those pesky germs. We can find vitamin C in things like citrus fruits, such as oranges, lemons, strawberries, and red peppers. So are you ready for the next one? You know I am, Nurse Dion. You did good there. Now, vitamin D is great for strong bones and helps keep our teeth healthy. We can find vitamin D in fish, like salmon or in mushrooms. Now, can you name the next letter of the alphabet? Uh... E. e! Exactly. So vitamin E also helps our immune system. So it helps keep our bodies healthy. We can find vitamin E in seeds, nuts, and oils, like vegetable oils. Did you like learning about vitamins? Yeah, I sure did. Cool. Thanks, Nurse Dion. Oh, you're very welcome, Shelly. Now, did the doctor tell you what's going to happen next? Yeah. Yeah, and what did they say? They said I have to wait for the medicine in my arm to finish so that my tummy could get better. I'm not used to getting medicine in my arm, Nurse Dion. I usually eat my medicine. Are there different kinds of medicine too? Yeah, there are different kinds of medicine. The medicine that you usually take is probably a pill or liquid that you just swallow, right? Yeah. Yeah. But then there are also medications that we give through a poke, like the one here in your hand. I have an idea. Want me to teach you a little bit more about medicine too? Yes, please. All right, so when we swallow a pill or a liquid, it goes into our stomach and breaks down. It's absorbed and then goes through our body through the tunnels or our bloodstream and goes into our body and goes right where the medication is needed. So it's kind of like superheroes in our body and fights off those bad guys. Well, why can't I just have the medicine that you eat or drink instead of getting the poke one? That's a great question. So when you first came in, the doctor didn't know exactly what was wrong with you and he didn't want to make you sicker. So we gave you a poke. It works a lot faster and gets you healthy sooner. Well, now that I think about it, I do feel a lot better. Can I eat something now? Well, you can't eat something now, but I'm gonna go talk to the doctor and maybe I can get you some Jello. Jello? Yo. I love Jello. All right, cool. I'll be right back. Hold tight, okay? Okay. Hey friends, it looks like Joey's gonna be okay. And the doctor said he can have some sugar-free Jello. So let's look in the refrigerator and see if we can find anything that he can eat. Oh, look, carrots. Now carrots can be many colors. Hey, do you remember which vitamins carrots have? I'll give you a hint. It's great for our eyesight. That's right, vitamin A. <laughs> nice. Oh, look, broccoli. Now broccoli is a leafy green. Do you remember which vitamins leafy greens have? I'll give you a hint. Leafy greens are great for our brain health and gives us lots of energy. Which vitamin does broccoli have? That's right, vitamin B. Good job. All right, let's see. An orange. Now oranges have a vitamin that helps our immune system and helps fight off those pesky germs. Hey, now do you remember which vitamins oranges have? That's right, vitamin C. Good job. Alrighty then, let's see. Ooh, mushrooms. Now do you remember which vitamins mushrooms have? I'll give you a hint. They help build strong bones and strong teeth. That's right, mushrooms have vitamin D. You're getting really good at this. Hmm. Almonds. Now almonds are nuts. Do you remember which vitamins almonds have? I'll give you a hint. They also help build our immune system. That's right, vitamin E. Excellent. You know, I came in here to find Jello for Joey, 
but I haven't found it. Can you help me find the jello? Where? Next to my shoulder? Oh, who put that there? <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, I think I found a red one with my name on it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go take this jello to Joey. Oh, hey friends. Thanks for coming along with me today. And what a day we had. We learned about vitamins, like vitamins A, B, C, D, and E. And we also learned a little bit about medicines, like liquids or pills, and even hoax. And even though they may be scary, they make us feel better. And remember, if you ever find anything that looks like candy, make sure you check with an adult before you eat it so you don't get hurt. Well. That's it for today's video. But if you'd like to continue our health adventure, just search for more Nurse Dion videos. Until next time, I'll see you soon, friends.